massive news that has happened in the NFL world while we are all asleep, especially on the East Coast time zone. Josh McDaniels has been canned as the Las Vegas Raiders head football coach. Following an uninspiring 3-5 and five start to the 2023 season, the Las Vegas Raiders parted ways with Josh McDaniels just one and a half years after signing him to a six-year deal. The move came just days after players held a team meeting that literally broke their head coach. Big airing of the grievance meeting and players just unloaded on Josh McDaniels from captain to captain to player to player. And finally, Josh McDaniels actually had Antonio Pierce get up and speak on behalf of him and the coaches. It's a new day. It's a new chapter. It's a new era. It's a new mindset. It's that of the rate of pride, the commitment to excellence and making sure our alumni, our fan base, and Raider Nation are proud of what they see on the field. Dancing to your soul just like I'm a Raider. Name's not Tyler, but I'm a creator. Inhale the smoke, yeah, exhale the vapor. Hoodie on all black, I'm not a skater. Silver and black, I ain't scared of a fight. Told myself I'ma get it, that's just my right. Continue. In just nine games as the Raiders interim head coach, Pierce took over one of the most dysfunctional locker rooms in the league and had them playing some of the most hard-nosed and inspired football the organization has seen in several decades. In Week 15, the Raiders scored a franchise record 63 points against Los Angeles Chargers, humiliating their division rivals so badly that the Chargers fired their head coach the very next day. The best moment of the season came on Christmas Day when the team defeated the Kansas City Chiefs at Arrowhead Stadium following two defensive touchdowns just seven seconds apart. The win helped solidify Pierce as the next head coach, and his reaction after the game just shows how much this team and fan base means to him. Hell of a job by those guys, our staff, Patrick Graham. It's tough. This is what we wanted. We said enough is enough. Guys came, we said we had a squeeze. It was going to take all 60 minutes, it did. Hell of a job by our offense to finish it. On top of that, he had the team's best players openly campaigning for him and telling management they would request a trade if he was not hired permanently. We got a guy that's played at the highest level, won a Super Bowl, he's been a captain, and now he's a, a great coach and he's a leader. Um, and it's hard to find leaders of men, so um, for us, we just need to keep building on top of you know the foundation we've already built. After garnering interest from the Falcons and Titans, the Raiders officially announced Pierce as their head coach on January 19th. This type of insane rise through the coaching ranks doesn't happen often, but when you dig a little deeper into Pierce's life, understand how he went from an undrafted free agent to a Super Bowl champion, and see the impact he's made from the high school level on up, it starts to make a lot more sense. The short story, the matter of fact, is I grew up in Compton, California. I was born a Raider. I was born with the Raiders rolling in the Coliseum in LA. I was rolling with NWA, talking straight out of Compton. Pierce brought that grit and toughness to the gridiron, and after going undrafted in the 2001 NFL Draft, he was signed by the Washington Redskins, where he started 25 games across four seasons. But where Pierce really shined was with the New York Giants, where he spent the final five seasons of his career, including as captain of the Giants Super Bowl team in 2007. After working at ESPN following his retirement, Pierce became the head coach at Long Beach Poly High School in California. The school is famous for producing the most NFL players of any high school in the country, including Juju Smith-Schuster and Deshaun Jackson. In his four years with the program, Pierce finished with a 35-11 record and helped 52 players get scholarships. I believe Pierce definitely benefited from his time coaching at the high school level as it helped him fine-tune and develop his coaching style and further cemented his ability to lead a group of young men. He also clearly had a very big impact on a lot of the players, perhaps none more than Raiders corner Jack Jones, who Pierce coached at Long Beach Poly and at Arizona State. Following off the field issues and a lack of playing time, the Patriots released Jones just one year after drafting him in the fourth round. Just two weeks after being named the Raiders interim coach, Pierce took a chance on his former player, knowing just how good he can be in the right environment. Uh, nobody's perfect. I don't expect to be perfect. That's a part of the, that's my job as well, uh, to bring him along and our staff and our organization to help him if he needs be. But the football player is uh, extremely gifted, and I expect him to do such when he gets here. The gamble paid off almost immediately, with Jones having pick sixes in back-to-back -back games against the Chargers and Chiefs. This story is one of many reasons why Pierce has earned the trust and respect of every locker room he's coached in. It really feels like two different years, honestly. Like, uh, you know, right? with McDaniels, 
locked in with AP, like it, it really is completely different. You know, he has a different perspective on the game. You know, like you said, he's been in the game. He's been playing at a, playing at a high level. Um, so he sees stuff that, you know, not every coach can see. Um, and when he came in and he stood up and, you know, in front of the team and he, and he demanded what he, what he, what he wanted and what he, see, he thought we needed out of his team, I feel like a lot of guys respected it. You know, it was 100% it was honest. Um, and, and I think that's what we needed. Um, but man, he's just a guy that you, you know, you want to run, you want to play hard for, you want to run through a wall for. As we've seen recently with the Lions hiring Dan Campbell and the Texans hiring D'Amico Ryans, players seem to really connect and play that much harder for a coach who's played in the league and understands the highs and lows of being an NFL player. Like Campbell and Ryans, players clearly have a ton of respect for Pierce and trust in his vision for the team. In today's NFL, keeping player morale high and the team upbeat is as important as ever. And with someone like Pierce, I believe he'll keep the team fighting hard no matter what challenges get thrown at them in 2024. Finally, we have to give some credit to the Raiders organization for listening to their fans and hiring a coach who connects with players and inspires those around him to keep getting better. The hiring of Pierce also seems like a bit of redemption after the organization chose to hire Josh McDaniels a couple years ago rather than interim coach Rich Bisaccia, who led the team to the playoffs or finishing the season with a 7-5 record. As a result, Raiders fans finally have a coach they want and someone who oozes silver and black every single day.